How do you say schmear? Is it schmear? Smear? Schmear. It is schmear. So today we're gonna be talking about this awesome German schmear wall that we've got behind us. Best part about this thing is it's super easy to do pretty inexpensive and pretty much every DIYer is gonna have the tools required. It's one of those projects you really can't mess up. So if you're new here, my name is Evan. I'm the brains and muscle of this operation and this is Faith. Right. All right, so first let's talk budget and time needed. This project can easily be done in a day. As far as cost goes, depending on the size of your wall, you can do this for about $150. We do have a big space here, so we really kind of came in right at that 150. If you check out the description, we've included a link to all the tools and materials that we've used in this project. So technically when you're doing a project like this and you're going and picking up wood, you should bring them back into your house and let them acclimate. To be honest, we were in a rush, we went and got it, and then immediately started on it. For this project, I used a combination of table saw, circular saw, and then jigsaw. There are a few things that you can purchase that's going to make your life a lot easier. One of those being a Craig Jig saw guide. And that's just for those wider cuts that your table saw can't necessarily do. You can switch over to using that. The next thing is probably a tool that you've never heard of and it's called a contour gauge. For us, we were having to cut around trim and things like that. So what it allows you to do is press this up against whatever cut you're trying to emulate and you can trace that over to the board you're trying to cut. This tool will also cost you less than $10, so it's a must have for any tool kit. First step of this project, once you get the panels back to your house, you're gonna wanna plan out your cuts. I started in the middle and then worked my way out because the most important piece was in the middle. We're actually doing this to have a background for shooting videos like we are right now. The great thing is with the joint compound that you're gonna be using, you can kind of mask all of those seams and you can get creative on that part. So when you're nailing something like this to the wall, it's always best to find the studs and nail them into those. Instead of like the expensive electronic stud finders, I've got a really inexpensive magnet that's under $10 that you can buy off of Amazon. Also, before you nail these to the wall, you're gonna to wanna to read the instructions on the back, it's like on a sticker, and it mentions that you need to leave a little bit of space in between each board, and that's just so over time, the panels, as they acclimate to different weather temperatures, they're gonna expand and contract. Now that you got your panels up, it's a good idea to go back over any of the creases with a cock gun. This just helps prevent that those boards from cracking over time. All right, after that's dried, now it's time for the fun part. So we found when we started this project that some people are a little bit messier than others. It's not me. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And so it's a good idea to go ahead and lay a drop cloth down. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply that joint compound. But before you do, I recommend heading over to Google and just take a quick look at how you want those boards to look. Have an idea in mind before you get started because you can get a little lost along the way. We found it best to use a trowel just because those cover a big area surface and it's also a great tool to use when you're trying to get into those tight corners. It's also a good idea just to put on a little bit at first, really get an idea of what you like because you can always put more on. We did find that things look a little different up close, so it's a good idea periodically through the project to take a step back, make sure everything's kind of looking the way you want it to. The good thing about this stuff, it does have a little bit of lag when it's drying, so you could probably go back over, fix any places that might be too clumpy or not enough. You can use a damp cloth and make some adjustments to that wall surface. Don't worry if you have any imperfections, you can always go back over once it's dry and set and sand those pieces out. When doing this project, if for whatever reason you need to break the day up or you run out of joint compound, make sure that you're using the same product because these joint compounds can have a different color variation. So as you can see, it's a pretty easy project done in a short amount of time. We originally started this project when we wanted to update our at-home gym. So you can check the link in the description below to get the full video to see how the whole gym turned out. So while you're here, we'd really appreciate if you like this video and subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of great content coming your way, so stay tuned. German schmear. How do you say schmear? Is it schmear? Smear? Schmear? Schmear. Oh! <laughs> blah, la 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 la. That cracks me up way more than it should. We'll be, that's hard for me to say. We'll be, we'll be we including. We will be. We will be. We'll be. <laughs> we, we will have. be. We will be. La 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 yeah. oh, okay. That's fine. There's a lot of uh. Uh. panels up. It's time to go ahead and cock those creases. <laughs> cock those creases. Cock those creases. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get in there. Okay. You could use a, what is that? This, this back? We found it best to use a, what's it, trowel? Trowel. Yeah. Get in there. There's tight uh, cracks. Tight cracks. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's also a good oh, idea. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. I was reading my notes. What are we covering next? What are we talking about? What are we doing? I'm we hungry. started the schmear. I haven't eaten yet. 
All day. Oh my god. I legit haven't. Okay. You're clearly gonna be fine. See, all those times you're gonna die. Dude, yeah, that's crazy. What's going on? Well, you weren't on? thinking about it, so I'm thinking about it. Just now. I'm really gonna okay. die. Let's get this done. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. I was staring at the thing. No, oh, no. It's and dry. So you you. Just so. Another way to add some style and texture to the wall is you can take a wet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say wet, damp cloth. <laughs> like that was real, rhetorical. real wet. Real damp. So damp or wet? What did you use? Damp. Okay. Don't worry if you have any imperfect. Oh, I'm sorry. I was yawning. Don't worry if you have. Oh, hold on. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> While you're here, we'd really appreciate it if you liked the. <laughs> you like the video. <laughs>